Herzlich willkommen zur Bully Love Story aus Troja. Wie der Name vermuten lässt, allerdings nicht in Griechenland, sondern wir sind in Prag. Und in Prag treffe ich heute den Wavra, der ist Kanute, war bei Olympia dabei und auch noch ausgemachter VW-Bus-Fan. Und was das hier so gibt, das zeige ich euch jetzt. Wow, what a ride! Hi! I'm Christian. Barbara, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. How's the cool. trip? Absolutely good. Yeah. But good to meet you here and nice spot. Yeah. It's a, it's a spot where I pretty much grew up. Oh, so, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do canyoning the whole life? Yeah. Oh, well, ever since I was nine, I, that was the okay. first time when I came here, was, I was nine years old. And oh, wow. The, the guy who is still my coach gave me a kayak. Oh, really? and, uh, wow. And uh, yeah. I sunk pretty much because there was a big hole, but uh, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Cool. Your car is looking cool. I love the painting, so yeah, it's, a, it's amazing. It's a multivan. Yeah, it's a multivan. It's uh, my second uh, T6 actually, but uh, it's uh, we took one of them to Iceland. No, really? Yeah, I drove all the way there with the ferry from Denmark, and and the painting is actually the the river that we paddled. Yeah. How's your trip with ID? It's pretty cool. So I'm really Look. happy to be here. So I was usually around just only in Prague in the uh -huh. middle of the town. So I'm really curious about what is the surrounding. May I ask you to talk, take me around and show me some nice places here? Yeah, so thanks for the ride. It was, was amazing tour around and really beautiful scenery and also this one here. And uh, it seems you are really related to the water. Yeah, I mean, you know, whenever uh, it comes to the spot that I want to be, uh, usually, not usually, it is, it is uh, by water, by yeah. river or lake or, you know. What was the first bus you owned? So there was a T4. And um, it was a Caravelle and, and Synchro, which, oh, wow. which uh, it was my first car ever. I, mean, I bought it when I was uh, 18 or 19, and uh, and it really, when I look back, it was really the car that I really wanted. And uh, you know, I had it closely before the Olympic Games that I, you know, I had like those. Uh, Olympic Games that I was quite successful and uh, and I, I really think that the, the, the van the bus helped me oh, really? in order to, to prepare for the for my uh, successful racing because um, I just had a freedom you know now I regret a little bit that I sold <laughs> I ever sold the car <laughs> I actually had different car for a couple of months it wasn't a bus and then I realized, no, I need the bus back. So I bought a T5 after it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there is a, this kind of a speech which says, uh, once a bus, ever a bus. Yeah. Uh, because you get used to the space and surround. Are you related to your buses? So are they kind of a family member? Yeah, they have names. Really? Yeah, of course. So how is it called? This one's called uh, Jonas. Jonas. <laughs> is there a reason why? Or is it just no, coming just, by when you're driving just, and say, now I'm feeling you are Jonas? Yeah, it's just like that. I don't okay. know. Yeah, when you think back to your first car, so you just pick it because it was comfy and so on. What were the reactions of your friends and family? Were they agree, of course, it's, it's the right car for you? Or did they say, oh no, it's too big, it's your first car, don't go away or so? I think in general, uh, more of my friends start, you know, buying the same car. So ah. I think that's the proof that it was a it was the right car and okay. you know it's a group of us that we have uh, uh, buses now yeah. and it's um, I think it's uh, it's identity what do you mean with it's a kind of identity well it's it identifies you how you know how you approach the lifestyle because you know 
I don't see a point of having a, a, f a very flat and fast car. You know? I, I totally agree. Um, of course, I know you're looking forward for the ID bus uh, and you're open minded for this stuff. And I'm really interested in to get your opinion how it just drives. Would you like to drive it? Oh, sure. Okay, should I've we been, do so? I've been waiting for it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Wait. come on. You're sitting quite, I mean, you've got quite a lot of space here, right? Yeah, but if you combine it with your car, mm -hmm. it's the same between here mm -hmm. and the front end okay. of the car. Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It's just super like, you know, it's just super nice that you don't hear that much noise and you just feel really comfortable. So if you compare it with your bus and the previous series of the bus, is it still part of the family of the Vita buses? Yeah, I, I think so. I can tell that. Maybe... even after a few more kilometers. But yeah, I still like that you are, you know, you're sitting up high mm -hmm. and you've got the, the views. Yeah. Which in Czech we have the saying that the T4s or, or, or the buses mm -hmm. are um, viewpoints or like, you know, like viewpoints, yeah. like a yeah, there are view towers. Yeah, yeah. there are, yeah. which is which is fantastic, and you feel safe also. You know, yeah. it was amazing. Thank you. And uh, before we leave, because you have to go to your training again, uh, I would like to ask you if you can sign my kitchen box, like everybody has done it before I visited. Yeah, for sure. It was okay. a pleasure. Das war sie, die Bully Love Story aus Prag. Mit einem Olympiateilnehmer, Silbergewinner im Kanufahren. Ich hatte ein bisschen Angst, dass ich heute selber paddeln muss. Bin ich drum rumgekommen, auch wenn ich jetzt schon wieder im Wasser bin. Aber heute genieße ich nur noch die Aussicht und ihr könnt euch schon auf die nächste Love Story freuen.